25 degrees overnight. We're getting used to that. I mean, it's been that way for the entire week thus far. Tomorrow, more clouds, a shift in the wind direction, so slightly cooler with more north northwest winds and additional clouds. Our morning clouds were attached to a storm bringing snow and rain into Ohio and now snow into Pennsylvania. Still a little tricky if you are traveling that way for any reason. And plenty of blue skies still out here. We are going to get into some late afternoon clouds once again today before uh, another round comes in here tomorrow filtering out our sunshine and there's a look at that for your Thursday as we go into Friday. This is again our next weather maker and the dry air in place is really going to eat into the onset of this system, meaning the snow will be coming at us Thursday night, Friday morning, but struggling. So we fend it off probably until lunch Friday or beyond and then snow showers may mix with a little bit of rain, uh, but the European model is just giving us a glancing blow with maybe an inch to two inches south of I-94 into our south zone and parts of southern Ontario. The North American mesoscale model is a little more optimistic. Bear with us. We'll have to see how this plays out because it really will be about the path and if this thing tries to stay to our south. And a reminder, Saturday night before you go to bed, spring forward one hour. Daylight saving time begins Sunday officially at 2 a.m. But we'll have to watch Friday's snow chance, Rhonda, and then a bone chilling cold and blustery Saturday.